Welcome. This is our first practice along session. So I hope you have your EWE out and your phone someplace where you can watch and you're all set up to play. Uh, we're going to use this C major play along today. So I've got that queued up, ready to go. And we'll use it, we'll be doing the C scale. So if you need, uh, it's sort of a prerequisite, I guess. So if you need some help with that, you can go up here to the EWE projects and down here, this one, making notes. There's a uh, section in there on the C major scale, and that'll help you get through today's lesson. Uh, when I practice, I always start out with scales. I do a lot of different kinds of scales, but I try to set it up for, I set a timer for 10 minutes. A couple reasons, I'll do a video on that real soon about the reasons for the timer and the 10 minute thing. Uh, there's a purpose for that. Uh, but right now you have no one scale, so it's not gonna take 10 minutes, so you're just gonna play it or say it up and down, play it up and down. I would say it for certain because that's gonna give you a complete focus on the task. And I would actually sing it when you say it, like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. So that gives you a really clear-minded run-through and that will accelerate progress big time. Then, then I would play it and in your mind be thinking the names of the notes and singing the notes in your mind while you play it. So here we go. So we practiced our scales. Well, the next thing I would like to do is I would like to work on some improvisation. So that includes, you know, improvising along with the track. So maybe you've never improvised before. And so we can talk about that. But before I improvise on a track or a, a song, I always have like some kind of mission or musical task to do first. And so today, when the, when the track comes on, we're gonna say the scale, and visualize the fingerings, and then we're gonna play the scale along with the track. Uh, it's a good idea because some folks have a little bit of an issue with the bass and drums and piano playing. It's, it's a lot going on and it's harder to think about things. So if you practice getting centered and focused while the rhythm section is playing, that's gonna help you out long term because we are thinking and playing. It's like almost for me, it feels like I check in and think about what's going on and then I'm free for a couple seconds and I check in. It just feels like that all the time. So we want to mimic that very slowly when we practice, like have a, have a task and then be free and use that task to create some music. So first thing we'll do is say the scale. The second thing we'll do is we'll play the scale and then we'll be free to improvise. And today's improvisation, let's just go up and down the scale listening to the color of each note. And every once in a while, hold a note out and like listen for the bass player. Then maybe take a break, take a breath. Then play another phrase, hold a note out and listen for the drummer. And then take a break, take a breath. Then play another phrase, hold a note out, listen for the piano player. Then end the phrase. And that's what we're gonna do. So. Here we go. I'm going to start the C major track. We don't have to play along with the track. Those are skills that we'll develop over time. This is day one. We're just going to ease into it and have some fun uh, playing some music. So here I'm going to start the track. Track's going. I'm going to say the notes. Maybe sing them. C, D, E. gonna play it, singing it and saying the notes in my mind. So I, I 
I completed my mission. So now I'm gonna play up and down the scale. I'm gonna end it with a long note. And while I'm holding the long note, I'm gonna listen to the bass player. I'm gonna start on a C. Take a breath. I want to start on the note that I ended on, which was an E. I'll play another phrase, just meandering up and down, listening to the color of the notes, trying to predict what they're going to sound like. And then when I'm done, I'm going to listen to the drummer. Play one more phrase. I ended on a G, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start on a G, and then I'm gonna play a phrase, and then I'll listen uh, to the piano player. That's a really good beginning exercise for an improviser. It'll, it makes you do a bunch of things that are healthy. One is you're trying to predict the sound that you're playing. Then you're holding out a note and, and listening to the people in the ensemble. Then breaking so you realize that it's okay to not play. You don't have to play all the time. And then, then you can play another phrase and then listen to somebody else in the ensemble. So you're training yourself to listen and play and uh, have fun playing music. So I hope this was helpful to you and I'll be back tomorrow for another quick lesson. All right, bye-bye.